Smoking Prince. This boy is a bad boy. Again, this section would have a whole lot of, of sheep and I would have seen a lot of sheep in this area. I'm going to take a look and see. Again, the area is dark, it's been covered. So I'm going to have a look. We have some rabbits too. I'm going to start looking at them now. And these are dark and sharp sharp cross. Good old Barbados black belly. I think I may have to go on the other side for you to get a better picture. Yeah. Darker. And then this would have been a Barbados black belly. Again, there's a whole lot of noise, so some of the information may not be clearly heard. Again, these are, you may wonder. If these are purebred, look at them carefully, they are huge. But to tell you the truth, they are not. You know, based on information gathered earlier, they are newbie and boar cross. Again, the nutrition is of utmost importance to get these size. Look at the beasts. Especially that white one there. That's a monster. Again, we have some more over here. Beauty. Look at the size. Some are Nubians. That's a huge one. Again, once we do the crossing, we tend to get the height from the Nubians and then the, the breadth or the, the width from the, the boar. Again, this is good for the industry. from 
The weight, especially the weaning weight, nearly 500 pounds. This is a beast. This is a black Angus, a black Aberdeen Angus bull. Right beside him, you'll find the, the red Angus. Basically, they come in two types the red and the black. Look at there. Stats are the data. Lean in weight. Look at the weight. Yeah, 2000, nearly 2200 pounds. Here we go again, another angle, smaller. Look at the, the stats. Yeah, and even lighter. The details from Minard Farm, one of the prime research stations for the Jamaica breed of cattle, located in Minard St. Anne. My name is Mark Mardner, owner of Kingdom Farm, located in Bushikam Center. Yeah, you tend to get um, more than the norms. So, the norm is two kids. With the AI, you tend to get three, four. I, I have had maybe five. However, it comes to somebody else who has just a record. When you have a female, especially, I personally prefer to have a brahman because that. It is something that Hola. I keep in my herd that will never ever slaughter. Yeah, and yeah, the, the benefit from that you continue to upgrade your herd. So going the air for me is all about improving your herd. So you have to have a structure system. It's gone are the days when you you let us some animals over there and you don't look back at them and so on. Yeah, good old um, red bird. Some people have a gold pet uh, a very long time to develop. It's yes and no. Um, one, it come back to how you treat the animal or you feed the animal. If you're going to rely on, on grass only, then the animal is going to take forever to reach the grass. The tag than harness. You can't from a business perspective. You can't just have some animal roaming all over the place and expect to get the best result. <laughs> Young Jamaica Black, then the cushion on here. These are 
ready for breeding maybe in about four or three months and look at some of the stats again. Only 800 pounds by the time it reaches about 1,000 pounds it can be bred.